Hello friends, this video on structure of atom part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 7. Let's talk about atomic models now. It's not that atomic model came after neutron, atomic models came before it neutron itself. We'll explain that. So the Thomson model came in 1897 when this electron was discovered. That time there was no proton, there was no neutron. Then we have something called Rutherford nuclear model where again we have uh, electrons were there but I thought they were protons or neutrons. Neutrons are not there for sure. Then we have Bohr's model where we have electrons and protons but neutrons were not there. And then we had the uh, quantum model where we had electrons, protons and neutrons. Everything was there. Right? So we'll discuss all these models one by one. And please note, the first three of the models are incorrect. This is the only correct model. The first three models are incorrect. We just study this because this is a more of a history of chemistry. You want to know how we got to quantum atomic model. It's not that simple to get quantum atomic model in one shot. Also, it's good if you understand these models and then understand atomic model, you get the clear picture of atomic model. But just to make the doubt clear, these three models are incorrect. They are not, they cannot be proven practically. So let's start with Thomson model of atom. So in 1898, when the electron was discovered, this was pretty clear that we have something on the electron and we have some positive charge, which we don't know that time. Whether it was proton, we don't know, the proton was not there. But there was some positive charge and some electron, because electrons were discovered. And since the whole atom is neutral, right, so there has to be some positive charge. So what this guy did was, in 1898, he proposed the model saying that atom looks like something like this, it's like a watermelon where the whole positive charge is big and then we have some negative negative electrons embedded into it, right? It's called plum pudding model also with a big plum and all these cherries are like electrons which are embedded into this. Again, please note this model is totally incorrect but we still study this. So. They gave a lot of different names, they told, some told plum pudding, some place raisin pudding, some place watermelon, it looks like big watermelon, and then the negative charge are embedded in it. This model, the only advantage of this model was, it was able to explain the overall neutrality of atom at that point of time, but this atom, if you uh, assume this model is correct, we, we, I mean this chemist did a lot of experiments later, which proved that this model is incorrect, we'll explain those uh, experiments but this model was totally incorrect. And once again, note this time, at this time when this guy Thomson proposed uh, the model, the neutrons and protons were not discovered at that time. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.